Welcome and welcome back to Par for the Course. Nine months ago, almost to the day, I posted a video regarding the purchasing of TXG by Club Champion and the subsequent departure of Matt Blois from the YouTube side of the business. Just perspective as a fan, and that's the whole intent behind that original video. It's about a 16 minute video breaking down the contradictory statements based on what was being said at the time and then previous statements in regards to the relationship between TXG and Matt. And so I just laid it out from a perspective of somebody who had watched the channel throughout the pandemic, found it, loved the content, loved the interaction between the two gentlemen and just how it built the channel to where it is. And it hurt. And that's all I was stating in the original video. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. Matty boy. Hello. Nice to be joining <laughs> this side of the desk again. Yes. You see this man's face. You see the interaction between these two. This is the interaction of two people who genuinely care for each other. I am glad that whoever reached out first um, did so. And that's just how men go about settling issues and rifts. And, and you can tell that they've just picked back up where they left off and we're all in the golf community the better for it and i am applauding that wholeheartedly we should you know flood the channel you know ian open invitation to come over matt as well love to talk to you guys about the reunion i know you guys have your own platforms to do so but it would be cool um just to talk about it since honestly for me personally uh that video has been a large part of my channel and growth and i've i've just it kicked off something for me with YouTube and talking about golf that I really have enjoyed this this past year. So kudos to the guys for manning up and coming back together. So amongst the golf YouTube world, that video did pretty damn well, just given the size and profile of the TXG brand and, and really the importance of what they do and the work that they provide when they come to testing clubs and giving insights into the golf industry that you otherwise would not be able to see. So again, kudos. What they do is amazing and I've never taken anything away from them. Even the content that they subsequently put out after the fact was awesome. High quality, you know it's top tier YouTube content, but it did not feel the same. Mac Boucher, amazing golfer, great presence. It was very interesting that Mac and Matt, Matty Boy, were both, you know, lefties. And I almost made a video about that and kind of trying to recreate the wheel. And I didn't. It was super petty. And honestly, I just wanted to see the same thing that I saw that attracted me to the channel in the first place. Like a lot of you, I stopped watching the channel after a while. You know, I still get the notifications that a new video had been posted, but there just wasn't that same desire to go watch it. And even when you look at the comments after they've returned last Monday, some of those comments pointed to that, like, oh, I can start watching the channel again. And I think that sentiment was bigger than anticipated. And even during this hiatus over the last nine months, the channel has continued to grow. They've got hundreds of videos out there, tons of content to watch their back catalog, see what they're about. So the channel honestly could have continued to grow without much new content being put up, but it felt good to see first on Instagram, Matt, you know, posting about him returning to the channel. And honestly, I didn't couldn't tell if it was something that seemed to be permanent or, you know, just a, a temporary thing. But after seeing the videos posted last week, I am hardened to see that the crew is back together. Things feel good again. From the fitting side of things, I don't think much has changed since TXG has merged with Clump Champion other than continued growth. But on the YouTube side, you know, we've seen an evolution of their content, which is awesome. You always want to see channels growing. But that face of Matt and just the interplay between Ian and himself, um, I'm, I'm thrilled. I hope you all are too. You know, that's why I refrained from making additional content regarding it. I've had a lot of thoughts over the last nine months in regards to TXG um, and the kind of the after effects of the buyout from Club Champion. But I'm overjoyed at this point. I'm interested to know how you guys feel about it. Have you gone back and migrated to the channel? Does this change anything for you? Are you as overjoyed as I am? Um, maybe this is the first time that you're hearing this um, and, and I'm glad that I could be the deliverer of the great news. Um, again, nothing against the other 
people who have been featured on the channel. All great. I mean, it's not bad content. I, I'm going to reiterate that. The content has been spectacular. A1, chef's kiss. But there is just something about the way that Matt and Ian interact with each other that honestly... I enjoy, I love the back and forth. I love seeing each of them behind the desk, just kind of get feeding off of one another and just seeing Matt fight back. I know he hasn't played a lot of golf here in 2022. So even over on his channel, I'm um, seeing him rebuild his swing and just kind of work back into the player that he was prior to this year. Just life happens to us all. I'm sure it's been a rough go at it. Um, and so just seeing him back in that comfort zone, I can't wait to see what they bring out in the next few months. Uh, let me know how you feel about it and we'll catch you on the next one.